Okay, let's bring you on now the president of the Association of BBC Operators in Nigeria, Mr. Aminu Gwadabe, as he talks to us about the new Forex guidelines as issued by the Central Bank of Nigeria to BBC Operators as to how much they can get every week to sell to end users. Mr. Aminu Gwadabe is here with me in the studio. Good morning. Good morning. And madam. welcome to the program. It's my pleasure. Good morning and thanks for the invitation. I'd like you to first of all comment on this directive from the Central Bank. What do you take on these uh, guidelines? Yeah, you see the directive is not new. I think the CBN is only trying to revive it and enforce it. In 2014, when there was a CBN circular in reforming the BRD change operations, they also stated in that circular that the BRD change will become agent of international money transfer. So with what we have seen on the 22nd of July and the 9th of August, all pertaining to directive to uh, money deposit banks to sell proceeds of international money transfer. And clar clarification must be made here. The proceed of international money transfer is not money that is coming from the uh, National Reserve or the Federal Reserve. This is inflows of Nigerians in diaspora. And we normally have this chunk every year, which is about $21 billion that the country is receiving. And the circular is to address the, the inflow, because before this $21 billion, only $4 billion is captured officially. Mm -hmm. So the circular is going to address the issue of even supply in the market, because always we are talking of demand, demand, demand. So this is a two-way uh, sword, you know, a sword to address the demand side and to also address the supply side. I want to believe that the proper documentation is very key when it comes to forex market operation. Right. And the central bank has reiterated several times that uh, authorized dealers, the banks now, must document how much they sell to you. Yes. Okay? And yes. you in turn must also take a no, proper note of how much you sell yes. to end users. Yes. Are you complying with this? You because see, for the central bank to always come out with uh, various circulars, uh, is it a signal that perhaps there are some kind of infractions on the part of the BBC operators? No, if you look at the circular, it addressed three people there. It addressed the bank, it addressed the MTOs, that is international money transfer operator, it also addressed the BDCs. Normally, like I said, the banks in Nigeria, they are the agents of the international money transfer. In other clans, it's the Bureau that are directly the agent of international money transfer. Then it also talks about the BDCs. The international money transfers are the company that receive the remittance of the diasporas abroad and send it to Nigeria for the beneficiaries. And the banks are the agent of receiving that money. So, and we are the Bureau de Change. Bureau de Change were the licensed retail end uh, player in the market. We services the retail end sector, critical retail end sector. Like you want to buy $1,000 traveling allowance, personal tra business traveling allowance, uh, medical fee, uh, school fees, and what have you. So we are meant to serve that critical retail sector segment. So the, the rendition or the, the regulation there stated that the IMTO, that's International Money Transfer, must render his return of what he has re received Receive. from the Nigerian diaspora mm. to, and to the banks. The banks must also render what they have received from the international money transfer to the Central Bank of Nigeria. They must also render how much they have sold to each BDC in Nigeria. The BDC also will now also render his return that this is how much I buy per week from Soso Bank. The whole essence is to capture the amount that is coming into this country and also to ensure that there is transparency because before there's a lot of compromise in the market. So this development is to address those compromises, that of professionalism and ethics is to address all this and that's why you see all the parties are ensured the same one kind of terms or the other. In other words, as BDC operators, because I don't have an IMTO here, yeah. you are comfortable with this guideline. Do you have any uh, grounds with it? No, you see, uh, part of the grounds, I think, is clarification. Because, you see, some of the operators in the market, they are not taking it uh, the way it is explicitly stated. The circular says, choose the bank of your choice. 
per week. But some of the banks are saying you must choose me as your sole banker in the entire economy for you to do so this. So you can change bank from on week, 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 it's a weekly week nomination. Yeah, it's a weekly nomination. If today I use bank A, this week I use bank A, I have the flexibility in the next coming week to say that okay, I'm going to use bank B. But some of the banks do not understand it this way. They say you must write a kind of wholesome commitment undertaking that they must remain your own uh, banker for the whole period of the transactions. So this clarification needs to be explicitly stated, and the bank should also abide by what the circular says. If I may read from the circular, which I have right here, no. uh, it says that a BDC shall nominate its preferred authorized dealer, which is the DM, the deposit the bank, money bank, yeah. Yeah. and can only procure the said amount from only that bank of its choice in a week. So the banks are saying that you have to stick with them. They are saying we have to stick with them. So that is the marketing. You cannot say, I sh if, if I buy from you... Is this there any reason given for this issue in terms of the bank saying you have to always stay with us, perhaps for a quarter? Or for the next six months? Yes, to us, the do they, reason... Do they give you the reasons? There, there is no reason. There are all reasons. The, the purpose behind this also is to ensure transparency, like I've told you, mm. so that a BDC must not be seen to go and buy from two banks. Do you understand? Within because a week. Within a week, you know? So that is what it's trying to address. Okay. But the bank now are using it to, like, become a, a kind of a, a sacrosanct or a wholesome issue. That you must remember perpetually. It's not a perpetual uh, inclination. Perhaps, no, it's not perpetual. Perhaps it's meant to also check some kind of money laundering. That's right. Uh, on their own part. Yes. But let's look at the impact of this on end users. We're, we're told that uh, not more than five thousand dollars was sent, uh, sold rather to a particular person right. in every week. Do you think that you can reach, you can meet the the, the demand from Nigerians? You, you see, uh, no, no, no regulator or government that just flood its own currency. You must be forced to do that. What we experience in the foreign exchange market is disgusting. There is a lot of spike and volatility, shortages, speculation, hoarding, all kinds of uh, behaviors that is really uh, dangerous to even the general economy. Okay. So, and as a result of that, the regulator have to address some certain key issues. Okay. And one of the key issues is to make some of the players also active, to admit them into the market, that is the bridge change operators. And also to start, yes, even before the circular, we have a scope. We have amount of the 5,000 for business traveling allowance, 4,000 for personal traveling allowance, uh, 5,000 for school fees, 5,000 for medical. Yes, for school fees, I can say it's not enough because there are some schools that charge up to $20,000, $30,000 per annum. But for personal travel allowance, 4000 I think, is good okay. for anybody that is traveling with $4,000. Thank I you so much. Uh, I yeah. just want to have to let you go. I, I, I will be talking about this uh, in the coming weeks. Hopefully, yeah. let, let's see how this um, guidelines okay. plays out. I'm sure Nigerians are also uh, keen on knowing what impact it would have. No, it's, it has started even having impact them. because the rates are already dropping down. Thank you so much, Mr. Mugwada, the President, Association of BDC Operators in Nigeria.